Hello friends, the secret of staying young is to keep your mind alive by doing all the things you love to do. There is so much joy to be with your loved ones that you never age in your mind. I'm Zareen Khan and welcome to a new episode of Spices and Secrets. We are at our best when we do the things we love and love the things we do. Cooking is a lot like falling in love. I keep saying this, that the key ingredient in any recipe that lifts it out of the ordinary is generous dollops of love. Our two guests today are film actors who dive headlong into different areas of activity. Enjoy the journey and see it through, no matter what the result. They may have global genes, but their souls are 100% desi. But before we bring them on, I will show you how to make a simple turai bhaji for a vegetarian audience. So come with me to the kitchen and we can start cooking. This is a skinned and washed turai which I cut into round one inch pieces. So this is the turai which we keep aside and next we get it ready for the onions. As usual, in most Indian dishes, onions are a must because they add the first flavor to the dish that we are preparing. And add some oil. Add some jeera. Now we shall add the onions. In turai, the difference is what all masalas you add to it. So you can either make it even very heavy, you can make it brothy, you can make it, um, you know, light. But this dish is going to be very light. We are just going to add the bare necessities, as they say, because then the flavor of the turai vegetable comes out. So now we put in a little bit of the garlic, just a little bit of the adrak and the lesson into this. And we have to see that it's all well mixed up. That's again the beauty of the dish because you have to see that it's all well mixed. See, once all this is mixed up, the next that we go into is putting in the one teaspoon of the red chili powder, half a teaspoon of the dhania powder, and quarter teaspoon of the haldi powder. It's half to half all the time, especially in vegetables. Now we mix all this together well. See that the color is evenly distributed. And as this is frying, I shall start cutting the tomatoes. We need to put about two tomatoes in this. Tomatoes also add, uh, first of all, they're good for the gravy. So that is why in most of the vegetables, if you add tomatoes and onions, you already have something that turns out delicious. I love the color of the tomatoes. In any case, besides loving the color, I also like tomatoes. So till these tomatoes are getting fried, I shall cut the turai a little smaller. In cooking, one must have a lot of patience. It's all about patience. Even if the recipe is very simple, take your time, do things slowly, because you want the end result to be very nice. Then we can add a little bit of salt, I think now it's time to put the turai into this mixture. Uh, 
Now we turn this all and mix all of it together. We sprinkle a little water in this and then leave it to cook on slow fire for about 15 to 20 minutes. And there. Close the lid. As usual in India, everything we do as far as vegetables go, we make them very tasty. Whilst in the West, they just boil them mostly or grill them or bake them. Almost ready. So now we put the final garam masala. Sprinkle a bit, a pinch of it, just a pinch of it. Close the switch off the fire now. And I'm going to put it into the dish that we are going to serve it in. Sprinkle a little of the coriander. So this is the final simple Turai Bhaji made in Indian style. I hope you enjoy it the way we do. And if you've missed anything, here's the recap. Put Turai Bhaji in a pan, heat oil, add one teaspoon cumin seeds, two to three chopped onions and fry them. Add one teaspoon garlic paste, half teaspoon ginger paste, one teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon coriander powder, one fourth teaspoon turmeric powder. Mix well and roast it. Now add two chopped tomatoes, mix well and let them cook till they get mashed. Add salt to taste, 500 gram of rich cod, water as required. Mix well and let it cook for 15 minutes on slow fire with the lid on. Sprinkle 1 teaspoon garam masala and cook it for 2 minutes. Garnish the dish with finely chopped coriander and serve hot. After this, we will make a chop palau along with our celebrity guest. So stay tuned and we'll be back after the break. Welcome back. Our first guest is an actress who has her roots in Hyderabad, the city of awesome food. She was crowned Miss Asia Pacific in 2000, the same year she made her Hindi film debut. Dia Mirza is the girl with the most amazing smile that lights up her face like a lamp. But don't be fooled with her golden ethereal beauty. She's a girl with a spine of steel, strong and independent. Marriage to her sweetheart, Sahil Sangha, was not the end of her acting days. She has a few films coming up. And she is also proudly an ambassador for the Prime Minister's Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you, darling? I'm good. And you're beautiful as always. Thank you, my darling. Come, come. I'm so happy you're here today. Thank you for joining having me. Us. Pleasure, pleasure. I'm happy you're here with me. It's always such a pleasure. You know, Zari Ranti, I always think about, you know, there's something called tahzeeb uh -huh. and uh, this, 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 there's something beautiful about being a khandan, mm. you know, and, and you and Sanjay uncle and your whole family, the brood, <laughs> <laughs> is the sense of love all of you give. And so, like, with so much openness and large-heartedness. Thank you. So sweet of you to say that. I have, a, I have a little secret to share with you. I must have been about seven or eight years old. Mm. 
and my mother used to do applique work mm -hmm. in those days. Mm -hmm. So she had this exhibition in Hyderabad, mm -hmm. and you had walked into her exhibition. Oh, really? And bought some of her quilts and huh? bedspreads, and she came back home wide-eyed, and she said, "You know, a doll walked into my <laughs> exhibition today. Come on. She's got these beautiful <laughs> eyes, and she was so warm and so wonderful. And her name is Zareen Khan. <laughs> and little did I know then that." All those close. years later, we'd be so close, close and we would call ourselves family. Yes, exactly. You just have to be. You always yeah. got to be down to earth, love people, and even make food with love. My it father comes would out say nice. that. Uh. आज प्यार नहीं है खाने में बिल्कुल प्यार से नहीं बनाई आज जान आई थिंक दैट्स अ कॉमन थिंग दैट वी ऑलवेज हियर आई इवन से टू माई मदर वेन इट डज इन टर्न आउट लाइक इट यूजली डज एन आई सेन कुक विद लव टूडे राइट लाव से Uh, well i always try and cook with love yeah. but it's true the but best ingredient in food is, is love, love isn't it? Mm. but tell me you're a very good cook too no i'm okay ah you're not <laughs> saying so dia i'm going to now today teach you this chop palao and i'm sure you're going to like it i am so shall we go in yes of come, course come let's go to the kitchen first we put this uh, pressure cooker here okay and we see that we put the six chops into it into it we add into this some as usual the garam masala dalchini the lavang lavang elaichi and some black pepper okay water three cups and two two cups two. adrak lasan 1 and 1/2 teaspoon full of this okay and about 2 teaspoons of lesson lesson yes and salt okay. yes i love that hath ka andaza <laughs> that's a lot of people ask me how much and i'm like um i really follow my instinct yes. in the meantime We take about six onions. My favorite part. And start <laughs> cutting those. Okay. Do you cut onions also? Yes. May I do oh. it for you? Would you like yeah, of to? Of course. Oh, Happily. Please. I wouldn't mind. Happily. <laughs> I must say you've done a very good job. Not bad. Darling, huh? really good. Now what we do? Wait. Huh. We take a kadai. Okay. And we get ready to move this. Right. On here. And talo the pyaaz. And start one minute. We'll put the butter. Okay. Put all of it, half kg. Ah, <gasps> all of it. Because the rice has got to go in also. Wow. I've always wondered what the secret mm. is. It's the butter. Butter. And then we put, put the this pyaaz. in pyaaz. Yeah? Wow. We've got to fry this now. Okay. Fried brown. Light brown. Light brown. Wow. and when it becomes light brown mm -hmm. we add all these masalas now this is a green masala it's of uh, you know kuthmir uh, one onion and uh, black pepper seeds okay. uh, lesson pudina okay. so all this is a green masala that's got to be added into this the entire process takes about an hour and a half wow, wow. <laughs> that's <laughs> wow. that is the cutest reaction Cute. ever to a city <laughs> But by the way, the chops are done, so we take this off the lid, okay, and leave the lid here, Take and wait till now we add the this. green masala. And we mix this in with the butter, okay, and mix it really well so it gets all stirred in properly, you know. And nice and brown. Not brown, but just we have to put the uh, chops, chops in, in now and then. Right. Fry it all together. Okay. See now, the are the chops are sort of fried and the masala is so well good. mixed in. Now we add the rice, okay? Okay. So the wet and soaked rice is what goes into the meat. Now the soup we put in the soup because the soup gives in the soup. taste. And this is okay? what the and rice all of it, in. yes. You need help with that? No. Wow. 
Okay. Oh. Now, usually the water level should be such. It's that two inches thing. above the rice. And last, we put these small potatoes, baby potatoes. We put the whole lot. Okay. So now the potatoes and the rice cook in the gravy. Yes, cook of... in the gravy of this. Oh my God. And, and we close this up. Okay. And let it cook. See, dear, haven't you seen how the rice, this rice risen. has risen up? And the water huh? has disappeared. On its own, yes. It's beautiful. As it dries, it keeps on coming. And at the same time, the, uh, the rice is cooked. I can't wait to smell it. Yes. <laughs> so today, no dieting. No dieting. Okay. None whatsoever. Lovely. So, Dia, now this is the ready chop palau. And we are going to put it here and get our dish and serve it to you at the lunch table. Yes. <laughs> So, Dia, this is your ready chop palau. Oh my God. Nice. It smells divine. Folks, now this is done. And it is simply delicious. And if you've missed any part of this recipe, here's the recap. For chop pulao, in a pressure cooker, add six to seven mutton chops, two to three cinnamon sticks, five to six cloves, six to eight green cardamoms, 10 to 12 black pepper corns, water as required, one and a half teaspoon ginger paste, two teaspoon garlic paste, and salt to taste. Cook for three whistles. In a pan, add 500 gram butter and bring it to boil. Add five to six sliced onions and fry them till golden brown. Now add the pre-prepared green chutney puree, mix well and let it cook for 10 minutes. Add the pressure cooked mutton chops to the pan, mix well to coat it with a puree and cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. Add 500 gram washed and soaked rice, mutton broth from the pressure cooker, 150 gram baby potatoes, mix well and let it simmer on low flame for 45 minutes until the rice is cooked. Your chop pulao is ready to be served. We'll be back with our second guest who is a Raz for now. Really? See you after the break. Welcome back. Our next guest is none other than the good-looking and soft-spoken Dino Moria. Dino is a perfect gentleman and a perfect host too. From supermodel to movie star, Dino entered the industry in 1999. But it was his film, Raz, that got him instant recognition. Along with his brother, they have a string of successful crepe stations. But Dino, being a fitness buff, had a dream to fuel the nation in the direction of good health. Hi! Oh, dear God. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> What's dear God? Ah, you. So happy to see how you. Are you. Fine, darling. How are you? Good to see you. Mm. Zareen. Yes. And I cannot call you Auntie Zareen. <laughs> I was waiting it, for that charming line to come. It's younger sister, not yes. older sister. Absolutely. I, I, you're my best friend. Stop Something's never changed, huh, Zareen Absolutely. Auntie? Absolutely. She's hello. beautiful. Oh, She's my God. God. <laughs> say hello. Hi. Can come, I say come, hello in many other ways? Down. No. Just get right, here. Okay. Sit down. Okay. I'm so lucky to be here. Yes. With, uh, you two lovely, beautiful ladies. You are indeed. I am. <laughs> and Isn't we he? are lucky to have He's you. He's such mm. a flirt. Yes. Yes. Auntie. I'm not you flirting. Know, what is, I what is, I have to tell you huh. this. So, we've done quite a few films together. Huh. Yeah. And uh, each time I've worked with Dino, huh. he's been in a steady relationship. Huh. Hey, so, let's not talk about my relationships and all that right now. <laughs> and the funny thing... It's a thing, food show. Wait, okay. okay. yeah. All right, okay. I'm mm. saying something nice. Okay. It's a backhanded compliment. Just... And unlike most heroes who, you know, whether they're married or in a relationship, huh. When they're on set with a lady and uh -huh. they, they flirt, but they usually do it behind the backs of their wives uh -huh. and their girlfriends. So they're dif dual personalities, the really. Yes. Two different. Chupa Rustam. Haan, chupa Rustam fully. <laughs> this one is Khula Rustam. Uh -huh. So he is the only man in the industry I know uh -huh. who will openly flirt, flirt with a lady in the presence of the person he loves. Because it's the most natural thing for him. But There's no agenda. Do you know why? Do you know why? I have to tell you this. 
Dino's father is an Italian. Yes. Oh. So it's in his DNA. And, he can't help it's it. It's in DNA. And his father also was the most good-looking guy in his times. And I remember he used to also be a charmer yeah. and he used to try to charm me all the time. Really? <laughs> I have to say that it's it's just so lovely uh, to uh, be friends with someone who can be himself yes. and be so open and yes. real. And uh, I've always felt most comfortable working with him because he's... There's no agenda with Dino. Yeah. I'm kind of liking this conversation. You want to keep talking about me? <laughs> I love it because you are saying such lovely things. You know, when beautiful women say such lovely things, I could just sit back and just enjoy. I yeah, you, listen. you. He really loves it. It's, I mean, yeah, you're not flattering me like so the, much. You know, I don't have to flirt anymore. We All have the time, too much yeah. in common. Uh, what do you mean? Can, just because we have our initials in common doesn't mean we can't, birth you know. Date. The birth date. We were born on the same day, same year, same initials. Wow, same yeah. year? Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, she's two years older than me. Right. You know, I m actually but, met Bia uh, for the first time in in Hyderabad, Hyderabad yeah. during a fashion show. And I was she just, 15. She was 15, and I was mm. 15, because Shut we have this, we share the same birthday, and we started Fossil. modeling together. Since, you since know? we're talking about age and yeah. the way we look, yeah. and I'm including you in this uh. completely, Zareen Auntie, because I think Zareen. Okay, fine, yeah. Zareen. Who's Auntie I over here? Really want you to share your secret of your youthfulness. Apart from your big heart and being happy and Come being on, say, happy, say, say. I swim 60 lengths a day. So I do one length up and down in literally one minute. So I finish by 60 lengths wow. in half an hour. Okay. And that's wow. a fact. But still, I could be much more slimmer. But then my food, I swim and I eat my food. Someone, someone but, who makes so delicious food. I can't help eats it. Eats delicious food and looks the way you do. <laughs> But I, I think have you're a lot swimming of right. Energy because I have always young and lovely, good looking people like you around me. How sweet. And I'm a happy person, basically. Yeah. So and I see the positive what's of life. The secret of your uh, energy? Mm. I play a lot of sport, mm. and that's a habit I've inculcated since youth, since I was a kid. And my parents always used to kick us out of the house and mm. say, no, don't come home until 6 30. Go out and play. And so that's when we got into sports, me and, my, and both my brothers. And, mm. and till, till this day, I still play either football or basketball at least twice a week and that keeps me going. Actually, the only key to health is, is workouts, is, is being, being fit. fit. Aren't you on Swachh Bharat? Uh, I'm the ambassador for something called Swachh Sathi, mm -hmm. which is a part of Swachh Bharat, mm -hmm. where uh, what we're trying to do is mobilize the youth of the country mm -hmm. into participation. So it's public-private participation where we work with government, yes. we work with municipal corporations, we work with school children, with mm. colleges. So recently we did something really cool, given that you also live in H Ward. Yeah. We've uh, taken the pledge to make Linking Road mm. plastic free. Oh, and it's a huge task fun. because I'm sure you must have mm. driven by, especially at 3, 4 in the morning filthy. and seeing mm. how filthy it is. So it's a big, big challenge for us. In India, you get people in their lovely BMWs throwing out yes. Rolling stuff. Rolling down their windows. Throwing but out stuff. But you know, that should be stricter rules. Do you know in Singapore, if uh, when last I was in Singapore, one manager of a company had yeah. to go and wash the public toilets for three days with his photograph on the newspaper yeah. because he happened to do something like this. Yes, your punishment is important, you know, but I feel... I don't know whether that's the just solution, tell your though. Kids. Yeah. It when you're growing up, home. it starts at home. And it's and children are like their penguins. They follow their parents. Exactly. Right? You tell them to keep it clean. They will keep it clean. They clean their house and throw the rest and outside. throw the junk right outside yeah. their house. It's really it, it's it's you know I mean it's it's amazing Education. that this is whole. It's that's it. It's your but mother you know, telling the child that yeah. please don't Education. litter. Yes. I think I'm a big believer that change starts with me. Yeah, and that's and it. it. Exactly. You it know, is. it's really we we should not wait. Like Dino didn't wait huh. for somebody else to set up Start, those yes. yeah. fitness stations. So Dino, I just want to know that now, are you doing any film which you are planning to do or making? So yes, I produced one film. But uh, my heart still lies in acting. Huh. I'm, I mean, I just love being in front of the camera, oh. as you can see. He's in love you know, with himself. I, I'm in love with myself, and yes. I love to, you huh. know, Which is a good thing. be other characters also. Huh. I've missed it. Huh. I wanted to see what it would be to be a producer. Huh. I produced a film, Jism Part Two, and it was a great experience. It did well. No? It did well. Part, it yes, did well. Yes. I mean, we made money. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and uh, but, no, you've but, actually been busy making a lot of money. Well, that's... 
the part of the game. So Everybody's part part of the game. You know, he's an entrepreneur. Life, so he's, he's, gotta, he's doing I, a lot. I, I love he to keep myself many occupied. Businesses. I can't honestly depend solely on films to run yes, my house. Not these days, right? These days, because um, you know, if I was basically doing that, then I would have chosen f far many more horrible films and dug my own grave. Mm. So I'd rather make a choice, a better choice, right now. And mm. you know, people came coming to me and saying, "Hey, out of sight is out of mind." Mm. I said, "No. All it takes is one film." You can come back after yeah, three years, four years, and if it's a good I, film, they'll say, "Damn, where was he?" Yeah. yeah, you know that's what it is, and I completely believe in that. Yes. So you Simon did that Kimi, workshop. I was yeah. very intrigued about that. I went and did an acting Tell workshop. Me more about it. it was uh, with this teacher in Delhi. Uh -huh. After I produced Jism Two, uh -huh. uh, I, I said, "Okay, you know, my heart is in acting because I was watching these actors on set and saying." Did you go to NSD? No, I went to a guy who was works at worked with NSD. His name is N K Sharma. He's a bit of a Crazy guy, but an excellent teacher in Delhi. Uh -huh. So I shot everything in Bombay, and I and I took off to Delhi for six months, and I just lived there, and I did this whole course. And so for uh, newcomers, you would suggest that they should do. That? I would suggest this for anybody, uh -huh. whether you're a, an established actor or a newcomer, to yeah, actually go and reinvent you yourself. You have to keep learning. You have to keep learning. So Which is why. Before we go on now, the food. Aren't you guys hungry? Listen, yes, I'm starving. I've been huh? starving for the last couple. So chalo, of... let's have some. Yeah. Chopala, I'm dying to eat the food that you made. Which she has helped me to make. So really? why? Uh, she's looked yeah. and helped me uh, a little. Hands have gone so, into yes. it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Um, so so yeah, yeah, is she going to be fed? Is she going to be fed? I wonder if I'm being fed. Are you feeding me? No. <laughs> get up. Come, come, get up. Let's, <laughs> Let's go. Okay, my friends, here's the food. Attack. Even I'm, though we made it ourselves, I can't wait to try it. Please. No, listen, please. you have done. It looks fantastic. The presentation is great. I must say, great job. I'm salivating. Thank you. I'm really salivating. I can start. Start. Come yes, please. Hungry. Start. Yeah. Yeah. Help each other. But my start. mom always says, Zarin mm -hmm. Aunty, that uh, so start much about appetite has to do with presentation of food. Yes. You can make the most tasty food, but if you don't present it's it well, it never well, it makes yes, a big yeah. difference. Huh? Do you want, or should I just go ahead? Go and serve for myself? it. Can I serve you something? No, no, please. Go I'll be ahead. a gentleman for two seconds. No, yes, I, yes, no. Okay, no. you serve and then you serve. Can I give you some? First, first. Thank you. That's it, please. Of course. Can you so small. Mine is small, but it expands like that. <laughs> yeah, really, I quite enjoy it. Well, what about a nice kheba patty? Stick I have tried the gobi, and mm. it is divine. Is it? Mm. Zareen, no. auntie, tell me something. Mm. You cook so well. आपके घर पे इतना अच्छा खाना बनता है बट यू ऑल्सो ट्रेवल अलॉट डू यू मिस घर का खाना वेन यू ट्रेवलिंग आई नो मलाइका डज वेरी मच आई ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट सम इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट इन द प्लेस आई एम स्टे फोर डेज आई लव द फूड True. But on the fifth day, mm. you forget. What is Indian it about spices? Indian food that mm. you know we travel so much? Mm. It's our spices. spices. Maybe you know because when we go to other countries, so we like the, no, the food, the good. offerings they have. Mm. And after what three or four days of eating all their food, then you want that masala, you want that biryani, you want that butter chicken, which is proper. You Indian. know what I find? Mm. Most of them, because I've eaten all these very high-class restaurants abroad, the food is very good. But yeah. first, it's too bland for our taste, and secondly. Yeah. They never have much of the sauce. Our foods, if you see, is you know always with some sauce or gravy. some gravy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's an all you know, uh, baked, grilled, boring. or uh, or boring. <laughs> no, some of it tastes nice, no mm. doubt. But yeah, uh, so, so says the man who says his favorite cuisine is Italian. Mm. Well, right? Italians have a lot of sauce in them. Yes, yeah, exactly. You look at the pastas; that's, it's full of sauce. That's, it's got... that's why I love Italy. And yeah. I remember once I was traveling. And uh, I was in America, and I said, "Oh my God, I want something, some gravy. What do I have?" I said, "I wish there was some dal. At least I could have dipped into have." <laughs> <laughs> and then by chance, I just ordered a Molgutani soup. Yes. Oh, nice. And what came out? It was dal, dal soup. So yeah. after that, with all my food, I used to order that Molgutani soup. Molgutani, yeah. there, the sort of, lentil soup. Yeah, lentil yeah. soup. But there's a lot of India that has gone all over the world. Apparently, like the favorite. National cuisine in in Britain now is chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Of course, they say that it's their recipe, which uh, it may as well be. Everything they claim is from India. Yeah. <laughs> How can the they say all that? The tikka they claim is theirs. Yeah, the exactly. But tell me, what's your favorite Indian restaurant overseas? Indian restaurant, there are quite a few. Mm. The Chutney Mary, and that's also very good. Mm. But the one I like for the chop, especially ordinary Gaylords of ours, which is in London. Really? In London, yeah. Extraordinary. Good mutton chops. 
out. Pepper chops is just too good to die for. Yeah. Wow. Visit it the next time we go. Yeah. What about what about us Indians when we go to these Italian restaurants abroad or these fancy restaurants? Mm. Um, they bring us this food or these any of our French and you restaurant. call her paprika and you say paprika or Tabasco and they look at you like who are you even you're person? diseased <laughs> you know tell me something the yeah, you went and did this ganga show right yeah so how was that experience as you went you had to be vegetarian i'm 100% sure most of it yes yeah. actually mm. right through the trip mm. uh so because it was the ganga and we went to many destinations we mm. we covered four states uh we did many incredible vegetarian meals mm. but the one meal that was stand out for me was a meal in rishikesh mm. yeah i met this uh, do you know this amazing italian couple mm -hmm. who have set up a italian restaurant wow. in rishikesh, in rishikesh. Okay. yes and they taught me how to make a homemade pizza mm. i learned how to make a pizza like with them like a fresh dough with wow. the fresh mozzarella and the yeah. fresh uh, Uh, the tomato paste and everything and one of the big takeaways for me on that show was like i was saying earlier that the real cultural exchange mm -hmm. a real sense of identity mm -hmm. and who you are comes yep. through the food that you eat of course i ate all kinds of food and i met incredible people along the the ganga so primarily vegetarian around the ganga absolutely yep. all vegetarian but not a, not a compulsion right It is. I yeah. mean, mm. any public space will not serve non-vegetarian mm. food, mm. right? Uh, and it was amazing. Everything that I ate. But the one take home for me through that experience was that we are what we eat. Yes. And you know, when you kind of trace the history of ingredients, yeah. like spices, mm. certain yeah. specific vegetables, mm. Mm -hmm. and you discover so much because you discover your history because right. you realize that. There were so many plants, so many vegetables that we know as our staple food today that weren't even a part of the Indian soil. Absolutely. And they all have come Ooh. to us through whether it is trade or the Silk Route or th through the various invasions Ooh. or the. The food tells you a lot about your history. Of too. course, and it tells us about who we are. And who we are. Where and we come that from. that really for me was a high high point of Ganga, the soul mm. of India, because of course it was a show that was exploring the river. Uh huh. Mm. But you know, you kind of. You discovered so much about yourself. But tell me, you should tell me about these protein shakes. Not good. Which, see, that's what my doctor said. Also. Not good. It's not good, right? With too much protein builds up uric acid. Mm. Not good. It it's a supplement. The... It's a great marketing gimmick. People yeah. want to sell protein. So, okay. what's the natural form of protein, and how much protein should a person be eating in, mm. in a day? Ideally, I know the ratio should be like with weight. You know the weight. The ratio with weight. Which is normally say for bodybuilders is one and a half grams for every gram you weigh. Yeah. You know, for every much. kilo you weigh. That's you know, which is too much. much. You need to do about a yeah. gram for every kilo you weigh, or even half a gram for every kilo. Like this meal we've eaten today, yeah. is more than sufficient. Mm. You got enough proteins. You got enough carbs. Mm. Yeah. You got some good oils. If if you know, especially oil, when you yes, use good oil, you get oil, some yes, good oil. Yes. Food, yes. peanut butter, eggs. Uh. You get all all of it over there. You if you eat meat, you eat get it in meat. If you get if you eat a lot of vegetables, you get it in your broccoli, in your beans, in your sprouts. You, you get it all there. You never taken protein. I tried it. I tried it for a year, but uh. it just didn't. I didn't need it. Uh. I didn't need it because it wasn't doing something spectacular to me mm. that food wasn't doing. Mm. So I just stuck to food and. But you know your body. I have very to say nice this. Very nice, Anil. Yeah, not only that, Zari Nanti. I think he was one of the first few men in the film industry who brought the body beautiful. Who, yeah, and who also. Represented a very sculpted, lean, uh, healthy oh. body. No, but it's just I believe you know. You, you still uh, climb those ropes? Yeah, at a, home. In my garden, I have a rope attached uh -huh. to my tree. Mm. I climb up every day. Really? But you yeah. now I have to tell you something. You know, uh, my grandsons, mm. uh, they are also very, very athletic. Very yeah. good. And you know, uh, their father for their birthdays has all this. Uh, Puts these ropes, yeah. yeah. Dugu, Rithik, yeah. And they, and then these youngsters are climbing from up to down but, and swinging on the rope. But yeah. that's what they're you got to do. Oh, they're yes. all doing parkour. They're all doing capoeira. They're Excellent, all doing. Excellent, but kids are going to do that. My mouth is always in. Uh, you know, I'm wondering what's <laughs> going to happen. Is in your mouth, yeah. yeah. I mean, my heart is. In, <laughs> yeah, my mouth. And you know, it's from the third floor. Third yeah. floor, yeah. literally. I'm not joking. Mm. And they're so good. And then, of course, the new trend is that they jump on those um, trampolines. The trampolines. trampolines. Yeah. Oh, the trampolines. Have you ever gone on the trampoline? My eight-year-olds do. You know, they jump, jump, somersault. jump, and, and they do the somersault right in front of you. I said, be careful. Something might happen to your neck, and it wow. can be fatal. But they do it. No. They're fearless, they're which is great.
So I hope you all have enjoyed I'm your stuffed. meal. What do you think? So now I think Oof. we I'm going to take you to the lounge and we'll have a nice game, a lot of fun game. Can I nap? Huh? <laughs> For a while. I yes. need to nap because after this, uh, it's like but this comatose, is amazing. You know? I'm yeah. so happy you guys Best enjoyed yeah. the meal. See? And so we'll have another Finished. one soon. Finished. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. Yes, you did I'm eat. Good. You did attack the chops, which was great. That's huh? the sound of a full stomach. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> we have a laugh a minute question round coming along, so don't go anywhere, and we'll see you after the break. Hi, and welcome back to some fun and laughs on the Cancering Machine round. What is the Cancering Machine? What is this? Well, this is a round where I'm going to ask you some very funny questions, fun questions, I should say, okay. and you have to answer them right. I'm and good at these things, you yeah, know. So yeah. whoever good. wins yes. gets I'm this, this one hamper. I'm winning. I am. Ah. You want to take a bet? Bets. The bet is if I win, you give me the hamper. If you win, you give me the hamper. Take a bet. <laughs> Come on. That's a Let's good, take a, good, it's a good bet. Okay, the first round is a simple question that are film related. Okay. okay. So I'm sure you'll be very good at those. Okay. okay. Now let's go on to Dia first. Which country does Dino have his roots in? Are very such a difficult question. I know. This is I'll never be able to answer. No, it. she's got to answer. Italy. Right. Now Dino, it's your turn. Okay. What is the title that Dia won in a beauty pageant in 2000? I know she was part of the Miss India pageant. Okay. Yeah, you Miss Earth. That was <laughs> Miss Congenia, Miss World, Miss World. She won Miss Universe World. She won one of those beauty pageants. She did, right? but you don't know which one. There were three, right? Yeah. Or Miss Environment or something, right? No. Miss, Miss, <laughs> Miss, Miss, yeah. Miss, Miss Universe, Miss World, huh? and um, what's the third one? That's the one you won, right? Miss Earth, something no, congeniality. But in 2000, what did I win? 2000. In 2000, I didn't win any of these things you think I've won. What did you okay, win? Okay, no points for him. Okay. Let's move on to the next well, question. Wait, 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 wait. The answer is Miss Asia Pacific. And she no, won no, the no, title impossible. of Miss Beautiful Smile, right? Yes. No, come on. I, yes. She's bigger than Asia Pacific. I yeah. knew she won on a world she platform. She should have. But it was no. a world platform, Dodo. Asia Pacific is just there. Mm. I knew you were bigger than that. So, oh. I see. Right. I need a point for that. Right, right. Okay, you know, we'll think about better. that. <laughs> we'll think about that. Now, the next question. Which uh, title did Dino win before he entered films? Yeah. Yeah. Rex, Manhunt. Uh, you um, gave it up. Good help. Yeah. One more question for Dino. What is the name of of the production house that Dia started. The, the production house, right? Yeah, he's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you know the answer. Of course I know it. Of course yeah. you know the okay. answer. Okay. It's, okay, it's, it's a movie the... I saw when I was a child and yeah. I was very inspired by the film. Yeah. But he's still not getting it. <laughs> okay, it, had, it has to do with lions. Lion King. No, wait, 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 I'll tell you, I'll tell you, born <laughs> free! Born. Yeah. I was going to say girls gone crazy or something. But, <laughs> all right. okay. So, born free, yeah, born free born productions free. and reproductions. Production, yeah. of productions. Dino has done two films which mm -hmm. rhyme. Which are the names of those films? <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> Raz. Yeah. And? Ah, uh, Raz. Oh. <laughs> and, Mars, yeah. not in danger. Of course. You know, I was off of that film. Yeah? Yeah. Folks, they're doing pretty well, huh? You should have died. I know. It was, a, it was a lovely story, you know. Of course. Okay, that Dino. Dia is a mixture of two nationalities. I'm Indi good at this. Indian and. I'm good at this. Just, just, just wait. Oh, oh my god, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good, he's German, he's German, I see, you know. He knew it. Yeah, okay, one well, full did. point for you. Ask him what my surname is, my German surname. Well, that is not That's the not the question. question. No, no, just Come again, on. you're going back. Who won this, this round now? I won it. Hey, no. I just answered the question, I won it. No, no, in this round, I think both of you were equal. Yeah, because... No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 yeah, we're yeah, always equal. He got two answers correctly. Yeah, DM, DM, same birthday, we're equal. But there's still one more round to go. Oh. Really? Yes. I see it coming towards me, yeah. so let's go for it. There is quite a colourful festival in Spain 
Tomatoes. On the name of the Pompadours. 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 The name Tomatina. of a vegetable. Tomatina. Tomatoes. Tomatina. Tomatoes. Tomatina. I said tomatoes. I said tomatoes. What is the name of the festival? Tomatina. Tomatina is the, the name, name of, of the, the festival. festival. He said, I asked first the, the vegetable. vegetable. He said banana. <laughs> share, share, share. Okay, one, okay, two. Share. Half, 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 half. Share. You can half, I can half. Okay. okay. Now the second question, all right? How many types of potatoes are there in the world and where do they come from? One. Uh, South America. Potatoes come How from South America. <laughs> po two, potatoes two, come two, from South two, America. Two, 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 two potatoes. How many types? How many types? How many types? The po potatoes How come from South America. How many types like, are there? Wait, na. There must be like thousands. No, two. No. There must One be. is sweet Shall and not I so sweet. Shall I give you the answers? Am I wrong? Potatoes. There are five. Thousand I said thousand. Yeah, but I said five thousand. thousand is not thousand. Thousand and five thousand. And four thousand of them come from are grown in South America. South America. I got. But she got half so a point because she got South America. I got three fourth of the answer. She got South America. Three fourth. You South America. Half. You didn't get cheater. anything. Yeah. Cheater. You said okay. one. Cheater. <laughs> okay. I got the first answer right. Also, he just. I cheated. know one aloo here. Yeah. <laughs> so what do I do? Give it to me? No. Nobody at this time. But actually, yeah. actually, you know, in the totality, there's one more last question which is going to balance. A okay, little everything. Because okay. so I'm leading right now. And no, you're, no, not. you're not leading. You're two points behind. <laughs> Only your dimples are leading. Right, go for it, we go know. for it, go for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Every time you mail a letter in the post office, you gain calories. Why? Because you lick the stamp and that's why it's got a little sweetener on it. Yeah, well done. Well done. Well done. But shall well I tell done. you something? Please. But anyway, he's still behind one point, so the hamper will have to go to Dia. Yeah. I mean, no. No. What I mean, it goes to me. Okay? Yes. 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 So, Dia, I'll share you it with get you. The I promise you I'll share it with you. Hamper. It's very heavy, so. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see. Thank but you. because of his special dimples, yeah. we yes. shall give him one too. Okay, oh, that's so this so is sweet. one Thank hidden you. for you, which is very He's heavy. Both. So that was See, good, Doctor. Thank He's you. He's put the ha hampers in such a way that he can come Sit closer, closer to, to you. Me. See, I'm good like that. The tricks of the <laughs> trade, you know? I tell I'm you. I'm good. I'm a smooth operator. <laughs> yeah, Don't yeah. call me smooth for nothing. <laughs> but we are not like uh, we we catch on, you know. We'll right? share one double of biscuits. So, Only one. Yeah. You guys have been so good on the show and made me <laughs> laugh and laugh and laugh. I can't thank you enough. No, thank We've you. had so much fun. We had a great time and thank you for having us here. It was thank delicious. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you, Pleasure. Really. Thank you Pleasure. Zareen. Thank you. You're looking lovely. Thank you. <laughs> now, darling, should we go home? Oh, such a brat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show with my good looking guests. So keep waiting and watching me on Spices and Secrets.